Hey guys, JD Barr here, uh, also known as Backlog Warrior, and today I'm showing you my new app, Streamwire Deluxe. It's basically a alerts and overlay design app for live streamers on YouTube, Twitch, Smashcast, and Mixer. Uh, you can see I already have all of my accounts hooked up, and it actually works with all of them at once. So if you like to restream to multiple platforms, this is for you. Um, so. Basically, I have StreamWire running right now. You can see all around I've got uh, subscriber counters and I've got that little Mario block down there that whenever someone subscribes uh, or follows, shows their username jumping up and hitting the block and an item comes out, which is pretty cool. So today I'm going to show you how to use StreamWire to make your own widget, basically. We're going to start simple and make a... A uh, pretty pretty simple follower alert, um, and we're gonna we're gonna make it Doge themed, uh, just for fun. So we're gonna call it Doge Alert Author JD Bar. This should be up here at the top since it's alphabetical order. Um, so let's start with an image. We'll just call that Doge, and we need a URL. We'll just grab that from here and paste that in make it a little smaller 300 pixels sounds good and let's give it a little border radius of 30 pixels to round the edges uh, if you're a web developer you might notice that this is all just css or html values so if you're familiar with that you can get a lot of versatility out of streamwire so now let's add our text We'll just call it text and what will we say we'll say thanks for following uh curly braces username and the curly braces is so we can tell stream warrior to replace this later with our followers username and we'll just give it Arial black font size 60 pixels center aligned white oops it's behind the image we'll just drag this over here to bring it to the front and it's a little squashed up right now. Let's make it a little wider. Hmm, 600 is not enough. Let's go 700. There we go. That's pretty good. And let's bump it down so it's not in front of the image. 180 pixels. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll give it a slight shadow. And we'll save that. So... You can see in less than a minute, I think, we made a customized alert. We could add more images or text if we want. Uh, we could get real fancy too. We can rotate stuff. And uh, if you know CSS animations, you could even animate your widget. Uh, did I save it? I think so, but we'll save it again just to be sure. So now let's go and add that to our stage where basically all of our widgets live. So this is a preview of the stage that you can already see that I have set up on OBS. We're going to add our widget here. We're going to call it Doge Alert. Got a white border. We'll set that up. We'll make it the width and height of our screen. And we'll set the border to none. Uh, zero also works. Let's so get rid of that white border around it. You can see it's in the middle of our screen now. And so it should be ready next time I refresh the browser source on OBS. Uh, but we got to do one last thing and we got to tell StreamWire that when we get a new follower we need to, sh we need to show our widget and replace the username text with the username of our follower and we'll do that in the events panel. You can see got a lot of stuff in here already uh, mostly because of that Mario block I play sound effects whenever an item pops out. Uh, but we're just going to set up our little Doge alert here. So we'll set this to whenever we get a new follower, we want to show our Doge alert widget for five seconds. Um, but this takes millisecond argument, so we'll give it 5,000. We might change that to seconds in the future. Then let's add another command. We want to replace the text of Doge alert username, hashtag username, that will address the text that we put in curly braces over here. Anything in curly braces 
the replace text command will work with as long as you put the hashtag in front of it. And we'll replace that with sw.username. And that tells StreamWire to put the correct name there. Um, oh yeah, one other thing we want to do is when the stage loads, uh, we obviously don't want our you know, doge picture showing on the middle of our screen the entire stream. We want it to disappear and only show when we actually get a follower. So we're going to tell it to also hide the widget at the beginning, aka on stage load. If we don't specify a time, it'll stay hidden. So once we do that, we save, and it should work. So we can go to our dashboard, copy our URL, and I already have it set up with OBS here. There you go. I already have it set up in a browser source. You just paste your URL right there, and it should load up. You want to set the width and height the actual width and height of your stream, obviously. Um, and that should, that should be it. So now we can see we have our new Doge widget on there, and that should disappear. And now when we get a follower, it should show up with the correct username. I'm just gonna do a little developer trick here to simulate that. And there we go. Shows our Doge, and our chatbot did a little message thanking our follower. And if we take a look at our chatbot, oh, it looks like I actually deleted the command and didn't save it. So that would look like any new follower send message. Thanks for following sw.username on uh, whatever platform that came from. So sw.platform. Save that. Should be able to run that again. Uh, oh, but the message actually doesn't show up because I'm not running a YouTube live stream right now. Uh, if we did, let's see, if I change this to Mixer, however, I should send a Mixer message. Yep, there we go. That used my Mixer account, which shows up in blue on this chat widget that I made. So I think that's basically it. Um, there's all sorts of other cool things you can do here. We can actually execute a program whenever a certain thing happens. Uh, so say you're an artist and you know someone donates to you. You can have it open up an instance of MS Paint and you could do a, uh, I don't know, 60 second drawing challenge for whoever donates to you. And this is kind of how that would work. Uh, we'll set up a, you know what, let's do it through the chatbot, uh, since I don't feel like setting up the donation thing right now. It'll be a good chance to show off chatbot commands. We can do paint, and we'll put a message as an argument that they have to leave us. So, on chat command paint, we want to execute program MS Paint. What else do we want to do? Let's have it text-to-speech their message. Now, that could be dangerous, depending on your audience, but if you, you trust that your audience is family-friendly, this could be all right. Uh, so we'll save that, and let's try it out. So if I open up Twitch chat here, I should be able to say uh, paint. Paint me a cat. Message. Whoa, what happened there? Ah, there we go. We forgot SW dot. That tells StreamWire to actually load the argument. You can see we just need to save it to test it again. We don't have to reload the program or anything. Do that again. Paint, paint me a cat. Paint me a cat. There we go. And you could do your little 60 second drawing challenge. That's a terrible cat, he's only got one eye. Anyways, uh, that's basically how the chatbot works. Same exact event system as uh, the widgets, with a little more versatility to it. You can name your arguments. And, you know, this doesn't have to be a command, it could be, you know, anytime you get a donation, any new tip, open up paint, 
and it would work exactly the same if they provided a message through their donation. And we can actually provide permissions too. So if we do decide to use the command, you know, maybe not just everybody can use the paint command. We could set it so only donators can use the paint command. And then, I don't know, we could add a another command. I don't know, it doesn't need to be a command. We can make an event that says anytime we get a, hmm, a Twitch cheer or a Twitch streamer, we can give them the role donators to sw.username, the username of whoever cheered, and it would work automatically. And then from then on, they could use the paint command and tell us to paint things at random times. But maybe we don't want it to happen, you know, all, you know, every 30 seconds people would abuse it. So we can set a cooldown on the paint command for, I don't know, 30 seconds? No, that's not long enough. I guess you multiply that by 60. It would be 30 minutes or something like that. Is that right? I don't think that's right. I don't know how to math, but that's some number of minutes. And you kind of get an idea of how it works. Um, yeah, so that's basically Stream Warrior, chatbot, programs. Um, we could even do other stuff too. We have the option to uh, even press arbitrary keys. Maybe you want to set up your own Twitch Plays Pokemon. You do that by simulating key taps uh, or mouse clicks maybe. Anytime someone uses a chat command or anytime someone donates, maybe you want to do an event. Maybe you're a Counter-Strike streamer and you want your donators to choose which weapon you use. You know, any new donation, just key tap one, two, or three, and they get to pick whatever you're fighting with. So there's, there's a lot of options, a lot of versatility. Uh, every widget is just, you know, some web files. You can, you can zip it up and share them with other people. And if you're a developer, there's JavaScript options. There's an API for you to use. Um, you can save data, get data from Stream Warrior, subscribe to events, and do whatever you want with it. And right now we support Twitch, YouTube, StreamTip, uh, Smashcast, and Mixer. Planning to integrate Facebook, Twitter, Streamlabs, probably Muxy as well. And basically, you know, whatever whatever else is out there that a lot of people like to use. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of options out there for people who, who restream. And the, and the biggest stream alerts services basically only cater to one or two websites. So I, I just wanted to provide this app that could handle it all and do anything. And it, it basically can. If, especially if you're a programmer, you can extend it. Uh, it has a web API as well. So as long as StreamWire is running, you can have an app that's totally separate from StreamWire. Submit and trigger events to StreamWire. Uh, so if you wanted to integrate your own streaming service, you could do that. There's basically no limit. Um, right now, StreamWire is available free. Uh, but it doesn't include the chatbot or simulated key presses if you use the free version. There's also a little banner ad that'll show on your stream um, once every 30 minutes. The versions that do have the chatbot and simulated key presses are, are the deluxe version, which is $5 a month or less if you decide to uh, subscribe for more than a month at a time. And then there's also the lifetime version, which I think right now is $99. Uh, unless you're an original donator of the original Stream Warrior, which is pretty old, pretty awful compared to Stream Warrior Deluxe. Uh, if you're an original donator of that, you'll get a huge percentage off and I'll, I'll have emails with those coupons sent out to you guys. Um, and, and without you guys, the original supporters, uh, who've been with me since, I think it was October 2015, none of this would be possible. Um, this is an entirely new version of the app. A million, million times better. I'm, I'm sure that you guys are already aware. Uh, so go ahead, download the free version, give it a shot. 
uh, give me your feedback. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter at backlog underscore W because backlog warrior was already taken. Um, or if you decide to purchase the program, uh, you'll get an invite to the stream warrior discord and I'll personally help you set up the program, make your own widgets, design your overlay, you know, get it working with OBS or X X split, whatever you use. And, um, yeah, I just, I just want to help you guys make your streams way cooler than anything else out there. So, uh, yeah, give it a shot, leave a comment, share this with any streamers you might know if you're not a streamer. If you are, download the free version, try it out. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching.